Hey guys, what's up? It's Jonathan with One Big Impact, obviously. So I wanted to talk today about when you come to the point, and you will. Look, my chicken. I like chicken. When you come to the point of wanting to give up or wanting to quit. And the reason... I want to discuss this is because we're all going to be faced with it. Um, you're, most people um, are at this point in their life because they did quit. And you may be new here and you may be just starting out your journey. Um, what you need to realize is um, you don't have to be a quitter. And it is extremely easy to quit. Um, by nature, humans will always and even inanimate objects will take the path of least resistance. Is it easy not to lose weight? Sure, it is. Is it easy to give up? Yeah. Is it easy to eat horrible foods? Yep. It is, and I've done it many times. Um, as you know, I used to spend $3,000 a year on monster energy drinks. Now you might be thinking, oh my gosh, that's a lot. It's just one monster a day. That's all it is. You and me have something in common. You and I have something in common. Um, and what that is, is the ability to push past that moment when you want to give up. Um, last month, there was a lot of times in the month before that that I wanted to give up. I feel horrible because I screwed up at the last possible moment um, with my running and I didn't get to do my 10k. But it wasn't like I screwed up because screwing off I actually went too heavy on the weights so um, a lot of the times you have to look at something in the light of what it really is and what it can be perceived as as to what it really actually is like I said before um, because you may think you know you may get to the point in your life where you're like you know I gained I'm not gaining any weight, I'm not losing any weight, but I'm trying so hard and I'm doing literally everything I can and I'm not seeing any results, so I'm a failure. And you'll feel like that. I mean, it happens to a lot of us. But you have to, like I said, perceive it in a different light. Um, you're not eating poorly, you're exercising, you're drinking more water, you're concerning yourself with your health. And those are the things that you need to actually see this light in, because that's what it is. You're busting your ass to create a better future for yourself. And that is not only highly commendable, but that warrants never quitting. You're going to want to. And if you want to quit, send me a message. I don't care. I'm sorry, not to uh, babble, but I just want to say, if you're thinking about quitting, don't. It's not worth it. You've come too far to quit.
if you've changed your mind and you want to change to something else in this life, and as far as um, changing your lifestyle, guess what? It's time. And you're going to be tested with stalls. You're going to be tested with stress. You're going to be tested at work. You're going to be tested at the gym. You're going to be tested after the gym. Um, a lot of these things are going to happen to you. And you just have to remember. A lot of the times if you just get away from all the distractions, grab one of these, a book, one of the many, and go in a field somewhere under a tree and just sit there and get your mind out of the bad foods, the negative um, self-talk, the negative surroundings, um, the ideas that you're not doing as good as you actually are because you are doing great. Um, you have to remember your body and your mind want the path of least resistance. So you're going to fight, and it's going to be an uphill battle. Um, just like Dorian Cochran just said on YouTube, um, she was watching my video this morning, and walking uphill, like a 10% incline, on her treadmill while she walked it. And that's awesome. That is literally amazing. It's like walking up a freaking steep ass hill. Um, but just like that, this battle is going to be uphill. And that's why you become so much stronger through the battle. If the battle was all downhill and it was just simple, nobody would ever fight for it. Nobody would ever feel great about achieving it. Nobody would ever be in a position to have to achieve it. You're here because you're not a quitter. You're a badass. And I would consider you even more badass than somebody that hasn't had to go through this. Because it's hard. It really is. Um, nobody's giving you anything for doing this. A lot of the times, that's hard for people. They're not getting compensated for living a healthier life. Um, they're not getting a gift. But again, think about how you perceive things. You're getting a gift. You're getting the gift of a longer, healthier, more fulfilled life to spend with your family, your loved ones, or even by yourself. You're getting the gift of getting a second chance. And if that's not good enough, think about it again, because it is. I got my second chance. I'm here to enjoy your second chance with you. And I want you to share somebody else's second chance with them and don't let people quit don't be so hard on them like i am all the time because clearly sometimes that backfires but that's who i am and that's not how you have who you have to be just be you don't quit push past any of those negative self-talks there was something in a book i'm reading and it was basically, you know, you got the good angel, the bad angel on his shoulders. But it was a good wolf and a bad wolf. And it was a little Chinese man, really wise man. And he said, somebody said to him, you know, which, which wolf controls you? The good wolf or the bad wolf? And he said, whichever one I feed. So that, you have to think about that for a minute. If you don't feed the negativity, 
you have all this food, all this knowledge, all this positivity. So if you feed the positivity, the good wolf, he's going to grow. And eventually, the negative bad wolf will get smaller and smaller, and the, the good wolf will completely overpower it. The good positive feelings are going to benefit you more than the negative ones. You're here because your good side is stronger than your bad side. I want you guys to keep up the good work. I just wanted to talk to you about not quitting. If you guys are new here, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel. And as always, remember to spread love, not hate. Hashtag be stronger than your excuses. And if you're also new here and you're on a weight loss journey or any journey, um, please check us out on our Facebook group called Healthy Living for a Healthy Life. I wish everybody a beautiful evening. Thanks for viewing and have an awesome day. Peace.